Good afternoon. Welcome to a beautiful Ohio September day. Do a little walk around video here with you of this uh, 1982 Yamaha YZ125. We've recently acquired this one. It was in uh, excellent shape when we got it. We did just a little bit of work to it. Take it up another notch. And this thing is a blast to ride around. It's going to be going uh, up for sale here soon. So I'll show you a few things I know about it and then I'll start it up and do a short ride. There's a little walk around of it. Uh, again, the bike's in 1982. Uh, I am not a motocross expert, so you guys that are watching this probably know a lot more about this bike than I do, but I'll tell you what I've learned just from reading a little bit on the internet the last couple of weeks. Uh, let's see here. This is the, uh, it's water-cooled, so I think this is one of the first few, not the first year, one of the first few years the Yamaha went to uh, water cooling on the dirt bikes. Uh, Radiators up here. It sits behind the number plate. It's got the little vents in the front of the number plate. Uh, from what I've read, this being an '82 was the second year Yamaha did that style, and it had an interesting setup on those first couple years, where the coolant actually goes, as you can see from that hose there, it goes through the neck, comes out here. And then goes down to the motor. So, an interesting setup. And from what I've read, that uh, those seals that are in there are unobtainium if they leak. So, good thing this one doesn't leak. Actually, the, uh, the uh, previous owner that we got this bike from did a lot of work to it. And uh, those new seals were one of the things he said he did. So it does have new seals in that neck. I'm not sure where he found them, but from what I've read, they're uh, next to impossible to locate. Uh, a few other things that have been done to it recently. It's got new tires on it, front and rear. The uh, shock boots there, I'm not for certain, but they look awfully nice, so I'm guessing that those have been replaced. Those are probably new. It's got new Renthal bars on it, new grips, those levers look awful shiny, I'd say those, those levers are new, there's the Renthal logo, let's see here, exhaust expansion chamber there, a few little things down here at the bottom but nothing major it's not all caved in like I've seen plenty of them over the years that was in pretty good shape motor is pretty clean overall the, uh, as you can see the Kickstarter even still has a little uh, rubber boot over the knuckle I'm not sure I knew that those even came there because it's probably always missing the carburetor still has the little boot on top of it as you can see the airbox boot there's in good shape uh, little chain rollers, not 100%, but those look awful nice. I'd say that those are new. I know the chain and sprocket is new. As you can see, it's got the uh, gold chain. New sprocket there. Just got those new tires. Still have the little nubbies all over them. Seat. Seat looks original to me. It does not have any rips or tears in it has a few little scuffs here and there. Just wanna... We wiped it down a little bit. I imagine with a little work you could probably make that seat even shinier, but then it might be pretty slick. So a shiny, slick seat's probably not what you want. So it's up in there, that all looks nice and clean. Shock. See, this is 
try and move that. That all feels nice and tight and there's no slop in the swing arm or anything like that as I've seen before. Like I said, I'm not a motocross expert, but a few that I've seen before when they get wore out, you know, that kind of gets sloppy and these, this all will kind of get a little sloppy, but all that looks really, really good to me anyway. Uh, the aluminum swing arm, not sure exactly what year that came out. I think this is one of the handful of first years on that aluminum uh, monocross or single shock setup. Um, this is the other side of the motor. You see the frame. Previous owner said he did have it down to the bare frame, so that was all repainted. This frame is nice and shiny. Motor has plenty of compression. Not sure about the uh, motor work, but I'm sure due to its age that I'm sure the uh, engine has been going through at some point in its life, but it feels really good now. Good, good compression. Starts easy. Pet cock. That's working. There's your uh, gas chamber for the rear shock. Oh, let's see. What else can I show you here? If you guys spot anything that's that's uh, not correct for the 1982 year, just throw that in the comments. I'd be curious to know. I mean, obviously things like tires and sprockets and chain and stuff, that's not original. But if you see something else or, or anything that uh, it should have that it doesn't, we'd appreciate it if you'd point that out. Okay, that's about all I can think to show you. Um, yeah, I hear you. I mean, as you can see, previous owner must have done, uh, probably had all the, uh, all the rear suspension apart, and there's even still a little plastic guard there. I imagine that probably falls off of most bikes, but you, know, you can see the fresh cotter pins there, so that has definitely all had, uh, recent maintenance. There's the serial number on the motor. Up in there, you can see that rear shock. We didn't put any numbers on it. This is the way we got it, so we'll let the new owner decide what numbers they want to put on it. I think I showed you everything about the bike. Now I'm gonna start it up here, pass the uh, camera off. And just, I'll take it on a little ride up and down the grass here a couple times just so you can hear it run. So.
right. So there you have it again, 1982 YZ125.